Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to respond to illegal operation errors in Windows. Let's go to our computer and I'll show you a picture of an illegal operation error. This is an error that you might receive on your computer when you're uh, using a specific program. Basically what this is showing is that that program has somehow caused Windows to become unstable, therefore it closed that program. It's a good idea to keep track of what program you're using when you receive the errors. Uh, but I'm going to show you a couple of general things that you can do. Let's just click on our start button and then click on the computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to first scan our hard drive for errors. Now, sometimes uh, as a hard drive starts going bad, uh, it, bits will get corrupted within programs and that will cause them to generate errors. So let's right click on our C drive and then go to properties. Click on the tools tab. And then we want to click under error checking on check now. Click continue because on VST you have to be an administrator. Now we want to do both of these options. This one will automatically fix any problems it encounters. And the second will scan for uh, or scan the entire hard drive and check any bad blocks it encounters. Just click the start button there. Now it's going to fail and it's because you are currently using your C drive, therefore you can't scan it right now. So what it wants you to do is reboot and then it'll scan when your computer is booting the next time. So click that schedule disk check and then restart your computer. I'm going to cancel out of that for now. Next we're going to run a command line option. Uh, click your start button and right above it type CMD and then right click on the command line up here and click run as administrator. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run a system file checker SFC space slash scan now. That will scan your Windows installation for any corrupted files and it'll fix those files. These are a couple good tips for how to respond to illegal operations. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just told you how to respond to illegal operation errors in Windows.